channel. I'm here today just to show you guys how I manage to size certain images larger than my 11 by 17 cardstock. It sounds weird, pretty strange, but I have no explanation and no idea how this uh, goes. I'm thinking it's the actual image that you can size it larger than your cardstock, but you are able to cut and print that size, even though I have 11 by 17 cardstock. I don't know if I'm explaining myself correctly, but this is how I do it on certain images. Let us let me just show you guys. Okay, we're on, we're on Silhouette Studio. We have our canvas. We have our, 20, our 12 by 24 mat right here in the back, which is gray. This white square, that's the size of your cardstock. Let's go to page setup on right hand side of your screen. We click on it. I leave it custom size because I'll just customize it right here. The width of my paper, what I'm using is 11 by 17 white 110 pound cardstock. 11 by 17, which is this right here. Orientation remains the same. You can rotate it, depends on your image. My cutting mat is a 12 by 24, which is the gray in the back. Next is your print and cut borders. I usually leave it on, I click it on so I'll know where I'm printing, how I'm printing, and my cut border. With your cut border, you have to remain inside the box. Rest remains the same. Let's go ahead and click on the registration marks. The style, it's off. If you're using a cameo, a portrait, or choreo, I'm sorry, I'm not pronouncing it right. You click on it and it'll bring up your registration marks. Registration marks are important because your machine will recognize where is the image and what it will cut. If you don't have the registration marks, your machine will not cut. It will just try, it will start trying to read the registration marks, but it will not cut. Your image should remain below this gray grid and this one right here and in the red box. Let's bring in an image. Let's go here to my files and let's bring in elephant. Click on it, click OK, set it aside. It has a white border, but I'll show you guys how to clean it up. Then I'll go to File. I'm going to click on Merge because I'm going to bring in another image in the same canvas. I don't want to open a new folder, a new canvas. We might say it like that. Click on this image. Okay, I'm just bringing in different types of images. Go back again to File. Click on Merge. And let's get another image that I can go ahead and okay let's get this one okay and let's get one more we're gonna work on four I'm trying to work on two that I can do more than 11 inches and two that I cannot do more than the 11 inches uh, elephant I already have elephant let's get Hulk Okay, let's get this image Hulk. Okay, let's start. Let's start with this baby. You know what? Let's start with the elephant. I'm going to bring in the elephant, and you see he had a white box. He's in a white box. We need that background transparent because if not, it will cut the box. Let's go ahead and go to your right-hand side. Click on the select trace area, and then we... Select the entire image. On your threshold, we go ahead, threshold, I'm sorry. Zoom it up to 100 so it can be highlighted completely. And as you can see, it'll cut just the edge, right? So we're gonna go ahead down here, which says trace style, trace and detach. It will detach the image from that white box to make it transparent. 
Let's wait for the machine to read it. Watch this. See? You see it right here? Click on it and we can delete. The rest are fine. The rest are transparent, okay? Let's size this elephant. Let's go to page. And red carpets. Now rolling. Let's go ahead. Oh my god, my phone. Let's go ahead and style and type one so we can see the grid. Let's size this one. I want 11 by 17 because that's my paper. Correct? We go to the white, we go not the white, to the top banner and click in your, type in your measurements, click enter, lock it. You see right here? It's 11, right here on the bottom, 11 inches wide. It will not cut. It'll print halfway here, his ear. That I cannot do 11 inches wide. Let's go ahead and resize it. Let's do a 10 by five. Ten by five. Enter. Lock it. And we still cannot do a not even a 10 by five. Let's lower it. Let's do a 10 by two. Enter. And we cannot do a 10 by two either. Okay, let's lower it to a 9 by 8. 9.8, I'm sorry. Enter. Lock it. You have to play with your... I don't know if you guys noticed at the beginning when I had it 11 inches, the 15 inches was going even a little bit over. So see, 9.5, you still have it here on this side right here. We're going to lower it to a 9.8. Let's lower it to a 9.6. There you go. 9.6, it's right in the red box. Let me show you guys, right there. This image, we can only make it 9.8 by 15 without slicing, without cutting, with no problems. 9.6 by 15 inches. Set it aside. Let's get the next one. Let's get this baby. Let's make her 11, like we did with the elephant, by 15, enter. Look, I can fit her more than 11. Supposedly she's 11 inches. You see right here, 11 inches wide by 15 tall. Let's go ahead and make her 11.5. 11.5, 11 enter. And she fits even more. Let's do a 12. Enter. Right there. The actual image is 12 inches wide, but it will fit on your 11 by 17 inch cardstock. I have no idea. I, I think I have the explanation, but I just can't explain it. The words ain't coming out. I'm so sorry, guys, but this is what it is. But if you notice, you see the grid, this box right here? 12 inches is going out the box, but not the image. And it prints pretty good. We can even make her... Let's do... Let, let's say we want her 17 inches. See? The height, you can even go just like that, 17 inches with no issues. You see the red box? You cannot go over this red box because it will cut it out. There you go, we did this one. Now let's get the other one. Let's size this one as well, 11 by 15, enter. And she can still go a little bit. Let's do a 12, 12 inches wide. Wait, I did 120 instead of 12. Okay, she's 12 inches. You can even do, this one, you can even make her a little bit wider. But then making her a little bit wider will make her like too chubby. It's like too wide. It'll be too wide for the height being 15. So let me just go ahead and put her 17. 
and see what happens and we lock it there you go we can make her see she won't fit 15 by 17 let's make her 14 and she fits with no problem she fits 14 by 17 on your 11 by 17 cardstock i i don't know i think it's the actual image i don't know it, it's kind of strange and it prints the same size it prints the size that you printed at uh, the 14 by 17 let's set her aside let's get the hulk see what happens with hulk let's go ahead and make hulk 11 by 15 enter Hulk will not fit 11 inches wide. It will fit a little bit taller, but not the width. Let's do Hulk a 10 by six. Let me go a little bit closer. Nope, let's do 10 by four, 10 by four, enter. Let me lock it so it won't expand. Okay, there you go. Hulk fits. Let me do a little bit less. Let's do a 30. Enter. Okay, now he fits. Let me try to make him 17 inches. Oh my god, I keep typing. Okay, I made him 10.3 by 17 and he fits he's inside the red cutting printing box that we can do and he does not look stretched out he does not look bad he's great okay this was a small a uh, small tutorial explanation of well not explanation because i don't know why i was just showing that Different images, you can size them differently. It's, I don't know, I think it's an image thing. I think it all depends on the image. Okay, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or any suggestions or the explanation of why, how, I would be really grateful. I would be glad if someone can explain to me or maybe I can contact Silhouette and ask. I think maybe their answer will be, it all depends on the image. But if any one of you guys have the explanation, please drop it down below. Have a blessed day. And as usual, happy crafting.